Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. And uh, we're going to start the timer. All right. We're going to have 10 minutes or less, baby. Boom. What do TNT. You know? What? You told me uh, earlier when we were recording something else that I asked if you wanted to move to another country. And you said no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to move to another so country. So you have no desire to live anywhere but the United States of America. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I mean, you know. Is there a particular reason for that? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty blatant one. You're just I, like, America's the best? Yeah. And, um, I mean, is America the best? No. I feel like America's the best if you're black, though, because, like, other countries don't really mess with black people. Just keeping it, keeping okay. it a buck. All right. And uh, you know, somebody, if you feel like that is different or I'm wrong in that, you can put in the comments, let us know, and we will discuss it. But as far as I know, uh, most countries they see a black person, the the initial uh, response is either fear or just like. Uh, like absolute like oh my god it's like a freaking unicorn like just a fetishization in. of like yeah. oh i saw a person in the wild that has yeah. black skin like yeah. it's like they I treat me you. the same way you would feel if you saw an armadillo in the wild i'm you know I'm right not, like if you're in like alaska and you see like a alligator you're like oh my god an alligator in alaska yeah I, okay to, but to like, some extent yes but i mean but there's other countries that have like a black population or uh, are uh, mainly yeah, black okay so africa no i'm not <laughs> going there <laughs> But let's like, yeah. Let's think about the places that have enough black people that like these countries aren't. You know, come on. Right. I, I guess I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So okay. no. I'm the, good. I got you. Where where the majority of people would be black would be probably in African countries. Yeah. So yeah. all right, like um, or like Caribbean, I guess, or something. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true too. Yeah, Jamaica, things like that. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. And so, but if so. Is that is that something that you know have experienced or know people have experienced or is it just something you know from like um I don't know you know like I've I have to say is that a lot of my experience when it comes to like dealing with uh ideals from different countries comes from uh playing Xbox Live and talking to people from these countries and I guess it's just like their account so I have my sample size is small but to my knowledge I've been told that uh, racism is a little bit stronger in the UK than it is here. I know for a fact in like China or like Asian countries, uh, you're going to experience. Gotcha. It. Um, I know that there's a lot of it in Australia, especially against Aborigines. And, you know, what is an Aborigine? But just like a Native you. American of a black person. kind of like. <laughs> No offense to my Aborigines out there, <laughs> but you're basically just like Native American black people. Yeah. You know? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, All right. and, and you know, and, and honestly, I, I, I guess I didn't even realize that. It, I mean, I know that yeah. like racism exists, and I didn't realize yeah. that in different countries it might be more strong or whatever. Yeah, um, um, I used to like. I don't. I, I didn't really think we were going to get into this, but I didn't I either. To, I was talking about where we're going to live, but I, I guess we'll to, roll with it. I used to tell my friend all the time. I was like, "There's really no country for black people because, like, no matter where we go, it's not like." You always kind of got to watch your step. It's 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 a slippery slope, man. You always have to watch your step to a certain extent. Because not to mention the fact that we are American, Jonas, and nobody likes America. No, yeah. Like, e even me, as a white dude from America, goes yeah. to, like, Saudi Arabia, yeah. I'm going to have some issues. Because, like, because I'm American. Exactly. You know? But yeah. being both... Right, right. I feel American. you. Yeah, okay, and it's just add another layer. Of and that makes sense, man. Something guess... that people can hate you for. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let, well let's do this then. Where else would you would you think about potentially living in the states then? Somewhere that like you know, if you could like, if we're in Austin, right? Austin's pretty good. I don't plan on probably leaving Austin anytime. <laughs> you know, like, but where where would you want to go in the U.S. then? Other than other than like where we're currently at. Um. Hmm. Like know. if tomorrow it was just like, well, Austin's gone. You got to move somewhere. Where would you go? Uh, California, I guess. Maybe back to Florida. California seems pretty cool. I don't know. I like. Yeah, Cali. that's that's kind of my thought too, dude. Does I, I feel not like Ohio? Definitely. Would you say definitely not Ohio? Definitely not. Ohio. Yeah. So my thought is like the only reason I would ever go back to Ohio is for cheap property. Because you could get like an area kind of isolated by yourself, and it, it would be cheap as hell to buy land and a house. Anyways, that's, that's why Dave Chappelle lives there, right? Yeah, and that's then he, he just says, and, and then oh god, that's a whole other issue. Did you hear about him? No, I'll, I'll talk about that maybe on the next episode. Right. Um, 
Yeah, I've always said like once I've experienced the South and like that it's warm here all the time and all mm-hmm. that, I'm like, yeah, the only place I'm moving is farther west. Like yeah. and south though. Like it would be like maybe Arizona, Nevada, California in the southern half. Like I'm not going up north where it's gonna rain and snow. Like I'm not going to Washington and getting snow, dude. No, I'm nobody, gonna stay nobody wants that. I think the bottom left quarter of the u.s is about the only place i'm willing to live anymore because it's dry (laughs) and temp either dry and hot or temperate like i'm not going to humid ass florida and i'm not going to the snow zone anymore that's it yeah i you know and i and i and i hate to even say that because you think about like all the friends and family that we left behind that decided not to escape those climates yeah and they really just they don't get it they don't get it. And I didn't get it either until I moved here. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, oh. They really don't get it. I didn't understand how much 300 days of sunshine a year affects your general disposition in life. I'm not even a sun guy. Like, I don't even yeah. like, I'm not even like, let's get out in the sun every minute of the day. Like, Yeah, but it's still nice to see. Yeah. You know, it's better I mean, than dreary ass misty rain. <laughs> I work night shift and I still love seeing the sun out there. You know? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, dude. It, it And it was interesting because like my ex-wife was from the South and came to Ohio and she and like she told me that she's like, this is really affecting my damn mood being up here. And I, I was like. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, okay, no, I get it. No, it just you get used to it when you live up there in the snow belt, right? Yeah, dude, it's uh, the Northern I, Bible Belt, as they call it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And as far as other countries that I would want to live in, I don't know because I've only been to London and Scotland, England and Scotland, I guess. Yeah, I would not want to live in London, a thousand percent. It's too. It's like it's like <laughs> it's like New York, like busy, like New York or something like that. But it's all old. <laughs> like What's it's all really old it just uh, dude it i don't know something about it i just didn't like i mean it was i mean it could have been my company whatever besides the fact i don't know scotland edinburgh yeah like the people were kind of cool i didn't get enough experience there but it was cool like it looked like the architecture was cool and the people were were cool to so especially with me being american like they were pretty cool um but i do want to travel a lot and see other countries like i would love to be able to do that but it's just expensive dude and like what? either i need to do it when i retire but am i gonna have enough money in retirement to just travel the world probably not no. so i mean i don't know that's never really been like a a draw for me like i get the whole idea of travel but i don't know to me, it's just like you're paying an exorbitant price to see something, and that I mean, I can I can see with my eyes a lot yeah. of things. No, I, I feel you, dude. Because like, yeah, like I felt like the time we spent in London wasn't worth it. Because I'm like, it was a lot of money to stay in these yeah. different hotels or motels or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The stuff we saw wasn't that cool. It wasn't. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I saw Buckingham Palace, like, but. Okay, dude, like I could have looked up a picture online and I would have been just as happy. Yeah, like, so I've never really been that big of, you know, in a travel. I guess, you know, like like we were talking, we've talked about travel before. I, I, Japan, I'd like to go to. Yeah. I'd like yeah. to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. But, you know, dude, I will tell you. I probably it, feel that way about the West Coast, too, <laughs> right? to be honest. I will tell you, though, like sometimes I think you're. Were, ta- were unexpectedly taken away by seeing something in person. Because I have to say, like, when we, we took a train from London to Scotland, right? And we came at the, the train station in Edinburgh is underground. It's like an underground station. And you take this elevator mm-hmm. and, you, and you come up and you walk out. And it's probably the only time in my life that, like, for, like, like 10 seconds, I was a little, like, in awe of, like, I was like, wow, this is... <laughs> this is this this looks it's, cool. Like it's beautiful. Up, up on the top of the hill, there's a giant ass castle, dude. Like the architecture's all like medieval and like spiky shit coming off the buildings and stuff. I was just like, I was not expecting this. Like yeah. holy shit! Like and, you know, that's, and that's because we don't have that stuff here, right? Exactly. I mean, like I said, I, I get it, but like right, like is like, like yeah, exactly. It's like, do you want to spend? a a thousand, two thousand dollars to just go see yeah. a castle sitting on a hill? Probably not, dude. Exactly. I would exactly. Now, if you could give me, give me something, give me an experience that's like really, really divergent from what I go through on a daily. Like, can we go underwater? Can I live underwater <laughs> for a, a month? <laughs> right. Or can right. we go to space? Now, those sound like places right. that I would want to visit. Well, and I agree with you because I'm more for the experience than just going to see something. Like, I want to have an experience. Like just exactly. looking at shit, I'm like, oh, this is great. Exactly. Yeah, I feel so, you. So yeah, I need I need an experience, man. Cool. I need a. Yeah, I, I agree, man. Thing. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe to our channel. Uh, for Jonas, TNT, uh, we are out.